it's not appropriate for me to start this off with a peace greeting. So I'm not going to. Shouts out first uh, to Armando and then to MLR for coming through on the cash app. I really appreciate that from the bottom of my black heart, from the depths of my black mind. Shout out to the Reverend Brother Pastor Deacon Dr. Hurricane Edward Allen Anderson, a new great design, Valley Precious Lamp, oh Lord, oh my mule while I shout. Golden Monument, Mountain of Hope, Faith, Tabernacle, Holy Bright Morning Star, Church on the Hillside, in the countryside, in the morning time of Amen Incorporated. Um, he posted <clears throat> Tasha Gray's video. Tasha Gray, I'm coming for your neck. <laughs> you nasty hyena bitch. Simone Biles did exactly what the hell she should have had to do to get with Jonathan Owens. You want to sit up and say that Jonathan Owens made it uh, look bad or made himself look bad or made her look bad when in reality the issue is you don't like the fact that she validated him you don't like the fact that a black man was validated by a black woman who was actually at the top of her game and famous you really have a problem with that he did not know who she was that makes sense considering he was good enough to get into the NFL you know, to reach the levels that you have to reach to get into the NFL and the NBA, you really do have to not keep up with a lot of other things in life. That is true. He was on a dating app for famous people because he was smart. He had to know you cannot mess around here and just be with anybody. If women that are famous can't be talking to just any old weirdo, fine. Men that are famous can't eat. Now, Simone Biles, in case you didn't know Tasha Gray, had already pursued a white um, Brazilian guy. I, I'm sure he was white because his last name is actually Italian. Since she had pursued him already, then why should she not pursue Jonathan Owens? I mean, she's going out, and we already know what it is. You know, white dudes don't pursue sisters. Sisters pursue white dudes. They go get them. That part we do know to be the case. And sisters always want to be like, well, don't tell anybody that I came for you. They always want to do that, but that's not really what goes on. See, just like we didn't know that sisters really, really into white dudes like that, white dudes did not always know the ones who did know said I don't have to approach them they're into us I don't have to make the effort they're into us they knew that white dudes already knew this that knew that sisters were into white dudes said then I don't have to make an approach so I'm not going to now there are white dudes that don't like white women that does exist guess what they'll still go for other groups of women If they like the curves of the black and the Latin American woman, then they will go for the curvaceous Filipina or the Latina in many cases. Or they'll sit back and not go after the sister because the sister will go after them. That's what that comes down to. This is known. So I don't think Miliano pursued Simone Biles. I believe that she pursued Miliano and she got him. And if she's going to do that, then guess the guess the what foot, Tasha Gray. She has to go after the black man that she wants. It's a good thing that he didn't know who she was because if he had known who she was and he knew that she had gone after a white Italian Brazilian guy before, he might have said, oh, hell no. That's what would have wound up being the case. And that's part of why it is that I look at you sisters in the West and I say, you, you hyena, nasty bitches. I don't say this because I hate black women. I say it because I hate those who hate anybody based on what they are and how they're born. I hate white supremacists, whether they're white or not. 
and I hate anti-black misandrists for hating black men for being born black and male. That's where my hatred comes from. Tasha Gray. You are merely upset that a black man was validated by a black woman. You don't like the fact that the world saw that a black woman has to go and get the man she wants. You know what? She did it, went and got him, they're married. Now, a man like Jonathan Owens has to hear certain things in order to be willing to get married when he's at the top of his game and he's not reckless in who he lays up with. So what does she have to tell him? You're the boss, you call the shots. I'm going to trust you as the leader, just don't lead us wrong. And I'm going to look to you for leadership. She had to tell him something along those lines. And he may have run some tests to see if she really meant it and found she did and they tied the knot. And you're pissed. That's why you're sitting in your car making a video in the cold, wherever you live. And Simone Biles is sitting up in comfort as the wife of an NFL player. Now, Simone Biles probably just doesn't want to continue doing gymnastics into her old age to make a living. But the thing is, by playing her cards right, she will not have to. Lastly, Tasha Gray, you had the nerve to sit up there and say, we know all light-skinned men act like bitches. How the hell is that even possible? Do you think that we can act like that? If I go back to the United States, God forbid, if I had to live there, Hell, if this happens even on a visit. Do you know the real reason that I'm safe? It's not because I'm light skin per se. It's because when I speak, black men can realize that I'm black. And since I'm around black men, people don't decide they want to screw around with me because I'm around black men in numbers. So um, the, the biggest danger to me, again, is going to be cops. That's the biggest danger to me. The biggest danger is going to be police officers and maybe groups of white supremacists if they band together for a night on the town and then happen to see us and think, well, you know, we outnumber them. Let's give it a shot. A lot of times they don't even try that. If we're five, eight of them wouldn't mess with us. I don't fully understand why it is that not only did you, Tasha Gray, sit up and say this about an entire complexion range of men, and yet you never mentioned why it men once. But why is it that black America is not going in on Tasha Gray yet? I mean, we brothers know what the hell that is. We get it. But why have black Western women as a whole not going in on Tasha Gray for saying something so wrong? That's because colorism is only wrong when you apply it to women. And if you don't, they'll invent a story that you did. That's when colorism is wrong to them. Colorism is not wrong when you apply it. To men. When you apply colorism to black men, so father mocking what? If you're dark skinned, you're supposed to be good in the bed, but irresponsible as hell and stupid and dim witted. And if you're light skinned, and you're supposed to be whack in bed and act like a bitch, but maybe you got better credit. Oh, and here's the other thing. One thing I'm trying to understand is why is it that we're stereotyped if we're ambiguous looking or light skinned stereotyped as having uh, being whack in the bed and having um, less than sufficient members. But then. But then 
when I was married to women from the continent and still am. I finally hear something about being more more than sufficient. I'm not a freak of nature. Fortunately, that presents its own problems. But I didn't hear about being more than sufficient until I was married to women from the continent. I'm the one that now has to sit up and say to them, I'm pretty sure I'm in the normal range. I'm debating, well, I shouldn't say them, I'm only married to one, but I had to sit up and say something about being pretty sure that I was within the the range of normal. Once, once, one American sister let something slip. Once, I don't think she meant to. I look at you all, Tasha Gray, and I came to understand more recently how it is that there are now going to be black men that, or that there are now black men, even my age, who do not want you on sight. They didn't start their lives off this way. I didn't start my life off that way. But on sight, they don't want you. In other words, even though they don't want you because of the attitude and stupidity, and like like for instance, the dumb stuff you're willing to sit up and say while you're shivering in a cold car and Simone Biles has what you want. They still identify what they don't want by the 4C hair, the skin tone, the nose, and the lips. Meanwhile, they can land in Thailand and find that dark-skinned Thai woman with a full nose. And they will want her and cherish her and pursue her. And keep her and spoil her. To a certain extent, I get that now. I do understand what these other men are going through. I get it. Because you're teaching the younger brothers to identify from whom they should run by their resemblance to you. And that's eventually going to extend to the continent. That's eventually going to extend there. It's going to get that far. It's going to go go to that distance. And they're going to be brothers, some of them even on the continent themselves, that are not going to be willing to consider women from the continent. Tasha Gray, because of women like you, their brothers suffering in, and, and they'll tell you about this. That's the only reason I'm disclosing it is because they already have. They're brothers that are suffering in Addis Ababa, in Johannesburg, in Nairobi, in Lagos, in Luanda, in Pretoria, in Accra. And I'm pretty sure it's going to hit Monrovia at some point, the capital of Liberia. There's going to come a time if it hasn't already happened, it's going to hit Monrovia too. And then it's going to hit the rest of the country. And if it already did, y'all let me know. That day is coming. And it's going to be because of women like you, Tashe. And also because of the rest of the hyenas that are not willing to go on Tashe and check her for that color risk. She said it, all light-skinned men act like bitches. And she even said, we all know 
or we know or something to that effect. So what she was pretty much saying is this is common knowledge. And then she generalized. But he's an NFL player. Knocking people the uck fout. Giving hits and taking hits. Most human beings aren't going to be NFL players. Most human beings don't get that. They don't get that far and they they don't become that tough. And you want to sit up and say that they he acted like a B word because he valued himself. When it really comes down to Tasha Gray, Tasha Gray, is it you? No. That you are the last woman that most other men want. And you don't like the fact that Simone Biles did what a woman in that position would do. And the thing is, Simone Biles is cute. She's in shape and she's cute. But when there was that interview, Simone Biles was smiling from ear to ear. If she had a cavity, we would have all known it. She smiled so much, we could have looked at them teeth and we could tell how well she takes care of them. All of them, even the back ones. She smiled so much to the point that we could damn near lean over into the screen and say, yep, she uses Colgate. During that interview, she would look at him and then smile again. Lord, have mercy. That's her type. She smiled at him the way that you would have smiled at a Brad. And if you, if a, see, if a sister's going to do the reach back, Tasha Gray, you do it like she did. You go and get the man. You want her to sit up and be pursued by brothers and chase after Wyatt's. And that ain't how this works. And the other thing too, and this was really bothersome to me. I want a lot of y'all to know about this. This was bothersome to me about the same sisterhood that's going in on Jonathan Owens for pretty much answering the question. Remember, she caught a flight from wherever the hell she was and landed in Houston. She did that. But the same sisterhood, this this banging on Jonathan Owens now was making jokes about Simone Biles. They joked about her edges when she got married. They joked about her edges when uh, she was doing the performances, the gymnastic performances. They were the same ones joking about Gabby Douglas. But they didn't joke about Shakari Richardson, though. When Shakari Richardson tuned it and toned it down, there may have been a few jokes, but when Shakari Richardson was just uh, attitudinal and losing, they didn't have any jokes about her. They identified with her. When she lost and had an attitude, they identified with her. She started winning again. They said nothing. Maybe a few jokes. And that was wrong. So I want y'all to um, take note of this, brothers. How long is it going to take before this collective that doesn't want us leaving them for everybody else, that is driving us into the arms of not even the white woman, but driving us into the arms of all of these other women, How long will it take for them to go and get on Tasha 
Gray about saying something as stupid as what she said. Everybody's supposed to just know and agree that all light-skinned men act like a bunch of bitches. And this is only because one who's in the NFL, physically speaking, can't be no bitch and keep his job, values himself. It shows you they know that we don't hate when you value. We don't hate it when they value themselves. It shows you that they simply hate it when we value ourselves. Know your worth, gentlemen. Know your worth. There was only one other way this could have planned, played out. There were, no, two other ways this could have played out. Simone did not pursue. He did not think any more about it. He went on with his life. The two of them did not get together. She went on to become famous and, uh, and even more accomplished as a gymnast, but there were no men at all that would qualify for her that she would also have. That would also have her, I should say. So she would always be looking up to where there are just no men and they're all taken. There are no available men, no single men. And the only men she could have would have, would have required her to look down from her position. The second way that this could have played out is that um, she kept pursuing him and kept pursuing him and he just never returned uh, the effort. Those are the only two ways, that the other two ways this could have played out because him pursuing her was not going to be the case. He would have had to know who she was and if he looked and saw who she was, I don't think he would have been willing to take time away from his NFL career to go pursue abroad that already pursued a brand. Those are the two ways this could have turned out. This is what you were looking at. So, um, in actuality, in this case, he was the prize and Simone got lucky. She got lucky because she got with him before he found out about that white Italian Brazilian guy in the past. Shouts out to accountability commentary for uh, alerting me to the guy named Miliano in her past. Tasha Gray. Be honest. How much would a brother have to make to be with you? Be honest. If not with us, fine. Just be honest with yourself. Now be honest about this next thing I'm going to ask you, Tasha. How much would a Wyatt man have to make to be with you? Be honest again. If the second number is lower than the first, then you're the problem. And not only that, but Tasha Gray, you got to realize that while the sisterhood might validate you for talking that stuff, every brother with some sense is going to look at you and say, oh, hell no, we're writing her off. And the only brothers you're going to be able to get are going to be the ones that don't know who you are or that are stupid as hell and you don't want them anyway. If you have recorded other videos of... Uh, in the similar vein and uploaded them. I don't know about them yet. I only saw this one. But Tasha, you you made a laughing stock of yourself this time. You showed everybody that number one, you believe in stereotypes. Number two, you expect everybody else to believe in and agree with the stereotypes. Number three, you are a stereotype. And at number four, you can't stand when men understand their own value. We already know that if a man had no confidence in himself and no self-esteem, he would not stand a chance with you when you would use him. We already know that because you're a woman. 
But now we know that the flip side is also a problem for you. You can't stand when a man knows his value. It bothers you. So what this means is that there's nobody out there for you. Nobody's compatible with you. And it's not because it's not because of them. It's not because there's nobody on your level. It's because you're simply a lock that you're, you're a lock for which a key has not ever been made. You're actually a broken lock. The keys that go in and try to turn come out broken or they get stuck. That's what you are. When in reality, you're so bad, you're so bad off, you might as well try to become the key and open up the locks. In other words, if you really want any kind of man, Wyatt or black, you need to be doing what Simone Biles did. You need to pay like you weigh, Tasha Gray. So get out there and get that money and get that bag because that's what you're going to need to get a man and keep him. I hope that what I've said has been a benefit. Thank you all for listening. As always, Black Heart, Black Mind, Black Out. Asalaamu Alaikum and Black Heterosexual Non and Select Male Power just because they don't like it in Black Patriarchy until Extinction of Judgment Day. I'd like to thank you all again for flying with me on Jet Black Airways, where Jet Black is also a verb. Keep jetting black with us until the wings and the wheels fall off. Shouts out again to MLR for coming through on the Cash App. And to S. Jock for coming through with those links. Uh, and to Armando for coming through on the Cash App as well. Gender justice forever. <laughs> <laughs>